ladies and gentlemen, your next comic on stage. Put your hands right now for Glenn Cohen, everybody. Keep going for him. I tell you, uh, I'm having the absolute time of my life doing stand-up comedy. Uh, at this age, I can't think of any place else I'd rather be than right here, right now, in this room with you people. I got dementia, I can't think of a place. I am trying. Oh man, I've had some of the worst fucking jobs in my life. Uh, no, no, I quit my real job seven years ago in anticipation of the 2012 apocalypse. <laughs> and those Mayans let me down. Walked out of work, slammed the door behind me, said, fuck you, you'll never see me again. <laughs> then I realized I was working from home. Shit, things got so bad, I had to move back in with my parents. <laughs> They're dead. <laughs> so it's really creepy. Oh man, I don't have a 401k. My retirement plan is Alzheimer's. <laughs> I am looking forward to it. You get carte blanche to ask people stupid questions. Excuse me. Is this Tuesday? <laughs> or a spoon? <laughs> Guy came up to me after a show, he says, Glenn, you gotta stop doing that thing, you're gonna piss off the Alzheimer's Foundation. <laughs> like they'll fucking remember. <laughs> oh man. Last year, had the worst fucking job of my life. I worked at Giant Stadium selling flavored ices up and down every stair. My last day of work, I got too fucking tired to climb the stairs. I turned my back to the Jets goal line and stick state troopers, and I held up my product and I went, ISIS! <laughs> ISIS! ISIS! Three seconds later, handcuffs and a headlock. Those guys are efficient. Oh man, I've had a cool job. I am a member of the Screen Actors Guild and I have been a background person in over 300 major motion pictures. I also have a degree in theater, so technically I'm a method extra. <laughs> no, look me up, Glenn Cohen on the Internet Movie Database. I have a 13-page biography. Ever since I learned they let you edit that shit yourself. <laughs> so the one rule about being an extra on a movie is you cannot initiate a conversation with a star. If they talk to you, yeah, you can talk back, but you can't start that. Six months, they call me to play a mourner at a, at a wake. An Academy Award Best Actress, Holly Hunter, came over to me and went, when they read the eulogy, you are going to come and comfort me. I figure, great. They call action. I walk over to Holly Hunter. I start gingerly stroking her arm. <laughs> and all I'm thinking is, I'm getting paid for this. <laughs> Then I got ballsy and I bent over and I whispered in her ear, I am so, so sorry for your loss. And she whispered back, thank you. Thank you, you're so kind. This isn't a punchline, folks, I'm just bragging. <laughs> she could have whispered back, shut the fuck up, you're just an extra. But the guy reading the eulogy was Tony Shalhoub from Monk. 35 years ago, he and I played twins in an equity show. I must have taken like 40 showers with that guy. So the whole time he's on stage, I'm making eye contact, hoping he's gonna recognize me. He never did. I got morosely depressed, and right before they arrested me, 
I got blackout drunk and they told me I was stark naked outside of Tony Shalhoub's trailer screaming, do you recognize me now, Tony? Do you recognize me now? And I got arrested because I was not allowed to initiate that conversation. God, you guys have been comics. I've been like going, this is a great room. Thank you, thank you, thank you.